Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 4. Well, what happened in the previous episode is that Amy introduced Sheldon to her mom, just, you know, she believed that she actually has a boyfriend and <laughs> it was so funny what Sheldon said, you have to go and check it out 100%. So yeah, and I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today, so less talking guys, let's get started. I finally figured out my problem with women. The Kappa Bar is the largest member of the rodent family. What you better tell us. <laughs> My problem is I don't project confident. That the next time I meet a woman I think is attractive, rather than holding back and being cautious, I'm going to assume the mantle of self-assurance. Well, yeah, what does that look like? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna pick you up at eight. Show you a night you will never forget. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> oh my god, Bronx! <laughs> Good news! Uh, I made it onto he the, fell team for it. the new Defense Department laser equipped surveillance satellite. Congratulations, Howard. Thanks. Listen, I have to get a security clearance, so you guys might be hearing from the FBI. Whoa, 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 I don't want to speak to the FBI. I'm brown and I talk funny. They're <laughs> just doing a background check on me. It doesn't matter, they'll find a reason to give me a one-way ticket back to Gandhiville. By the way, when I say that, it's not offensive. <laughs> I try very hard to make our lunch hours educational and informative, but your insistence on talking about your own lives stymies me at every turn. <laughs> Isn't it what you do? Feast on your disappointment, much as the capybara feasts on its own waste. <laughs> nice. um. No, well as done. Howard mentioned, FBI. What if we're we gonna hear you. some dark secrets of the guys? FBI gonna find out stuff, <laughs> and it's gonna be funny. Dr. Kuthapali? <laughs> I'm Special Agent Page, FBI. May I come in? He's not gonna be able to. I'd like to talk, talk to you about Howard Wallowitz. Oh no. Oh, how long have you known Mr. Wallowitz? <laughs> I would already find it sus, you know? What? Is there like a alcohol in there? Rum cake? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, thanks. Now, about Mr. Wallowitz. Seven years. See. <laughs> I'm in this country legally, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Now, to your knowledge, has Mr. Wallowitz ever committed a crime? Of course not. I'm here on an H-1B visa, which means I can't be associated in any way with crime or criminal activity, and I'm not. Okay. I think she doesn't really care about you. Foreign contacts? No, just me. <laughs> oh, there it is. Here comes a cavity search. Please don't send me back to India. It's so crowded. It's like the whole country is one endless Comic-Con, except everybody's wearing the same costume. Oh, my God. Indian guy. <laughs> to the New York Island, I'm a real Yankee doodle boy. I think you're gonna end up in jail. <laughs> well, when Howard said the FBI would be contacting me, I was expecting Mulder. Don't what mess you with like FBI. Know? You work with Mr. Wallowitz here at the university, correct? Yes. Of course, we're in different departments. He's an engineer and I'm an experimental physicist. He's you know, like, one I'm of those cooler. guys who <laughs> examines the building blocks of creation and says, Hello, maker of the universe. Oh my god, why would you do that? Why I see would what you, you did there. That? Oh god. Good one. <laughs> right. Now, how would you characterize your relationship with Mr. Wallowitz? It's a good relationship. Of course, most of my relationships are good. Probably because I exude confidence. Confidence, not exuding. I think it's too much. Do you know of any groups Mr. Wallowitz is a member of? You are beautiful, you know oh that? My God, leather! Hey, pop, sparkle, and buzz electric. I'm gonna pick you up at eight. Sounds great. Really? <laughs> yeah. Can my six foot two Navy SEAL husband come with us? <laughs> oh, God. oh my, I didn't see the ring with my glasses off. So. Look at that, I'm starting to exude. <laughs> could you get that? I suppose I could if I were asked. Would you please get that? Of course. <laughs> Why do you have to make things so complicated? Dr. Cooper. Oh, yes. God. I'm Special Agent Page, FBI. 
Oh my god, you what if Sheldon is gonna do something? FBI. Here's my ID. And here is my Justice League membership card. <laughs> what? But that doesn't prove I know Batman. Batman yeah, sorry, Batman. what I was saying is that what if oh. Sheldon is gonna spill well, right. something? Because what, Howard did some dodgy stuff that guys tried to help him engineer. with. Oh no, he's gonna spill everything. For the record. I truly support the <gasps> FBI in the mission, which is expressed through their. What if do you guys remember when Howard deleted some files Correct, about the Mars, like live on Mars? <gasps> years ago, I sent the FBI crime lab samples from a bag of excrement that oh had been on fire. Oh my God, I, I just know that. I just know that Howard's going to jail. <laughs> Would you mind if we talked about Mr. Wallowitz now? A little, but go on. <laughs> Thank you. Would you characterize him as responsible? I'm going to answer that with a visual aid. Mr. Wallowitz borrowed it. Damaged plastic retention hub number three. <laughs> She's like, get a food down. And then returned it to me, <laughs> hoping I wouldn't notice. Would you characterize that as responsible? That's really not the sort of thing we're interested in. Very well. Would you be interested in knowing that Mr. Wallowitz once snuck onto my World of Warcraft account and changed the name of a certain level 80 warlock from Sheldor to Smeldor? I'm afraid not. Is there anything else? Where would you like to start? He refuses to pay fines when he's overdue with books I lend him. He crashed the Mars rover while attempting to impress a woman. He recommended that I go see the third Matrix movie because it was, and I quote, just as good as the first one. <laughs> If that's not irresponsible, that's I don't it. know what is. That's it. The Mars rover? That's it. I, it's like, I knew that. I just freaking knew that. Well, let's talk about it anyway. I don't want to. Thank you, Dr. Cooper. I think I have all I need. Oh, good. I was afraid you were going to fixate on that Mars rover incident. <laughs> Hey, buddies. Guess who didn't get security clearance to work on the giant space laser? What happened? Apparently the background interviews didn't go well. You guys wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Well, actually, I may have gotten a little tipsy when I talked to her. <laughs> I may have hit on her a little bit. <laughs> I may have thrown up rum cake on her shoes. Oh! No, when I need you guys, I can always count on you to step up and ruin everything. Come on, Sheldon, you need to say, yeah, you too. need to say that it was To say the truth, I thought if anyone awful. was going to screw things up for Howard, it'd be Sheldon. <laughs> well, and he your did. Your expectations have been subverted. Uh-huh. Oh, God. I feel bad for Howard now. Sorry, why can't you sleep? Who knows? I haven't watched any scary movies recently. I'm no longer obsessing over he why the predictive mass of the quantum guilty. vacuum has little effect on the... What <laughs> happened today that's bothering you? Well... I did mention the Mars rover incident to that FBI agent and probably cost Howard his security clearance. What? Yeah, but why should that keep me up? <laughs> because you feel guilty? Exactly. Interesting. So you're saying my insomnia is caused by a guilty conscience. Mm -hmm. Actually, you don't have insomnia. You're sleeping now. Excuse me? You're having a guilt-ridden dream. Do you have any evidence to support that hypothesis? How about that Gorn sitting on the couch? <laughs> no, Gorn, no. That's where I sit. <laughs> for agreeing Even to in see the me, dream, Agent he's Page. being annoying. Thank you for <laughs> I understand you want to recant your statement about Howard Wallowitz? Yes. Was your statement untrue? No. <laughs> then I'm afraid you can't withdraw it. I'd like to offer a laudatory statement about Howard's many excellent qualities that I believe will tip the scales back in his favor. <clears throat> Howard Joel Wallowitz. <laughs> H is for honesty, of which he has much. O's for outstanding, which he is such. W's for witty, he's quick with a joke. A's oh my god, he wrote like the whole poem. Sorry, Dr. Cooper, <laughs> Yeah, I don't understand why you people are picking on my friend Howard when there are much more Aww. serious security threats to pursue. For instance, when I first met Leonard, he was on the verge of giving away rocket secrets to a North Korean spy, and not one agent <laughs> ever investigated that. This is Leonard Hofstadter? No, it's a different Leonard. He's <laughs> Chinese, red hair, six fingers. Goodbye. <laughs> 
my god, Sheldon just uh, gossip girl. <laughs> Back to that Sheldon you were me tried to talk no, yeah. to this FBI agent, like, you know, trying to protect his Howard. friend. It's the super cute, especially Howard. The person not getting a security clearance That's is cute. me. You? Yes, but before you get upset, I want you to know I went to the FBI and retracted my statement. Well, and they were okay with that? No, if anything, I made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> At least he tried. In any case, I, I'm here now to say I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? You've set my career back at least two years, and you think you can make it right with I'm sorry? Yes. <laughs> Your apology is not accepted. You're tricking me. It really is, isn't it? Leave me alone, Sheldon. Aww. Dr. Cooper, I just wanted you to know I'm sorry for the role I played in the Pluto matter. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sheldon? Penny. Oh my god, we haven't seen Penny forever. I just realized what are you doing that. Here? Okay, Sheldon, what can I get you? Alcohol. Could you be a little more specific? <laughs> Ethyl alcohol. Would you say that's about 40 milliliters? More or less. Great. <laughs> now, where were we? I believe you were about to ask me to choose a cocktail. Fortunately, thanks to computer savvy alcoholics, there's an app for that. <laughs> Ooh, I have a Rosewater Ricky. A what? You'll need pitted brandied cherries, gin, rose water, Angostura bitters, and overproofed rum. Then ignite the rum. Here you go, up. one rose water Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> to the metric system. <laughs> I feel you so good. I can't taste the cherries. <laughs> I wronged Howard. You won't accept my apology. Oh, right, that. Yes, Leonard told me. Sorry, honey. Penny, you face failure on a daily basis. <laughs> How do you cope? I drink. <laughs> to drinking. Ooh, well, it's already been in your mouth. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness me. You know, sometimes stuff just happens and there's nothing you can do about it. For example, Lisa Peterson hasn't talked to me since the 11th grade because no matter how much you apologize, you can't go back and undry hump someone's boyfriend. Nice. <laughs> You're saying I'm facing Starfleet Academy's unwinnable command scenario, the Kobayashi Maru. Exactly. Sometimes you can't win. I think I kind of get power, to be you honest. You know that. Well, he did. Believe I'm he was having this wrong, conversation you know, by using him. Mars rover right with and you. breaking it and losing the data. Cool, Still, you, you know, it was supposed simulator. to be a secret. Oh, it's a tricky situation. What? But I, I would, you know, Howard. just spill the tea to the FBI. Shannon, you can't reprogram people. But no, you can't reprogram people. <laughs> To James Tiberius. Don't drink Kirk. it again, Jesus Christ! There was too many times in your mouth. Disgusting. Oh. Disgusting. Hello. What's in the bag? It's for Howard. Oh. Sheldon, you can't fix this with gifts. Nevertheless, I've hurt you, and whether you forgive me or not, I want you to have this. What is it? You're giving me a couch cushion? <gasps> no, the cushion is merely symbolic. I'm giving you my spot on the couch. Oh my god! I love that spot. No, I love my mother. My feelings for my spot are much greater. That's, that's huge! He's <laughs> giving you your spot! Location in that's crazy! Oh my god, dude, now you have to forgive him! Yeah, that's so cute! <laughs> All right, uh, apology accepted. High five. Not too hard. <laughs> I cannot believe Thank that you gave me spot. I've been crying like this since Toy Story 3. <laughs> <laughs> Still your sanitizer. <laughs> oh my god, you actually swap seats. I mean, the temperature's good, but there's no draft. I can see the He's not gonna last long. He's talk, not gonna so. last long. I changed my mind, get out of my spot. <laughs> How long? 94 seconds. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Is it Indiana Jones, right? 
I love Penny's face expressions when she's watching movies okay, with the guys. I can't believe you've never seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. And I can't believe you've never read Eat, Pray, Love. When she comes out with Eat, Pray, Run Away from a Giant Boulder, I'll read it. You know, I could totally rock a hat like that. That's the work of noted Hollywood costume designer Deborah Nadulman. She also designed the iconic red and black jacket in Michael Jackson's Thriller video, which I've never viewed in its entirety, as I find zombies dancing and choreographed synchronicity implausible. <laughs> and also, it's really scary. Aww. Someone please turn off the Sheldon commentary track. <laughs> Honey, if you think this is good, you should come with us Friday to see it on the big screen at the Colonial. Well, I'm watching it now. Why would I want to see it again on Friday? because the print they're showing on Friday has an additional 21 seconds of previously unseen footage. What? 21 <laughs> seconds? That'll be like seeing a whole new movie. <laughs> exactly. Oh, they say it finally solves the submarine controversy. I'm no expert, but I believe what we just heard from Penny was sarcasm. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> well done, Sheldon. I mean, if I could make you understand why this is such a cool thing, we'd still be together. Mm, yeah, no, we wouldn't. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing 21 seconds had something to do with that, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amy's here. The screening That's is first cute. Come, first served. Relax, it's 5 o'clock. The movie doesn't start till midnight. If we miss it, we'll have the fun of listening to Sheldon whine about it for the rest of our lives. <laughs> See, Howard's on my side. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm using sarcasm to mock you. Drat. Amy, don't you agree we should leave now and get in line? Actually, as the newest member of your social group, I believe I'll gain more acceptance by arbitrarily siding with your friends from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, you're right. We should enjoy our meal, arrive late, and risk winding up with terrible seats assuming we get in at all. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Who's there? Olive. I live you too. <laughs> Guys, that's really starting to get old. Knock knock. Who's there? I have a girlfriend and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come with us to Raiders? Oh no. That movie has melting faces. It reminds me too much of the time I dropped that vial of flesh eating bacteria into the rhesus monkey lab. <laughs> oh, Besides, Penny and I are having a girls' night tonight. Girls' night? What does that entail? Well, you know, girls get together, hang out, share girl talk. I'm a girl. Oh, she wants to be invited, too. Well, maybe you can join us. I'll ask Penny. No need. Penny and I are very close. <laughs> Bernadette tells me you're planning a girls' night. Yeah? I'm a girl. <laughs> oh, uh, it, was, it was just going to be me and Bernadette. Besides, I thought you were going to the movies with Sheldon and the guys. Yes, but they're not girls. I'm a girl. <laughs> Come on, invite her. Yeah. Under normal circumstances, I'd say, I told you so. <laughs> this is where we could have been if we hadn't stopped for dinner. <laughs> this is where we could have been if Kuthra Polly hadn't ordered dessert. Well, I only do diet on my broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, to make a long story short, <laughs> oh my God. turns out I have an unusually firm cervix. You know, Amy, when we say girl talk, it doesn't just have to be about our lady parts. Just Shame. spill some tea. Because I have a real zinger about Share my tested uterus. Share some secrets. <laughs> gossip about. About anyone. <laughs> A colleague of mine did her graduate thesis on the fungus that grows on improperly sterilized manicure implements. Well, don't tell me that's not girl talk. <laughs> so where should we go tonight? A bar, a club, a movie? Or we could just stay here. Yes, and continue to bar. Yeah. I have a feeling uh, that after tonight, I'm voting we'll for staying at the home. <laughs> that's the or best BFS, place to be. Prefer. Hey, I don't know if I should drink more. I have to drive home, and I've got enough trouble seeing over the dashboard as it is. <laughs> That's okay, you can just sleep here. Oh good, a slumber party. <laughs> we'll do makeovers, initiate phony phone calls, and have spirited pillow fights in our frilly nighty. Gosh, Amy, I don't know if I would call this an actual slumber party. Well, that's disappointing. I've always wanted to be invited to a slumber party. You never were? Not even when you were a kid? Well, there was the time I had my tonsils out and I shared a room with a little Vietnamese girl. <laughs> she didn't make it through the night, but up till then it was kind of fun. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I guess we're having a slipper party. Yeah! <laughs> Fun Pillow fight. has begun. <laughs> Tired of running to the gas station to use the bathroom. The guy makes me buy a Gatorade every time. Guys, bad news. I just did a quick calculation. Given the size of the theater and the length of this line, we might not get seats. Oh, no. What did he say? <laughs> nice going, Raj. That's just got it. him down for his nap. <laughs> we might Someone not get lose seats. It. It's fine, it's fine. Go back to sleep. Oh, I informed you thusly. I so informed you thusly. Howard, you talk to him. Hey, look who's here. Hey, buddies. Oh, my God. It's a Will Wheaton. Jar Jar Binks of the Star Trek universe. No cuts, no butts, no coconuts. <laughs> Will Wheaton. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Of what? Poorly executed beards? <laughs> Do you think you could get me and my friends into the movie? We got here a little late. No problem. Come on, I'll hook you up. Oh, awesome. no. <gasps> there should be no value to his pseudo-celebrity here. And even at Star Trek conventions, they only let him in if he helps set up. <laughs> oh, I bet we cannot go unanswered. Higher. Uh, number one Stop. enemy. You know what I really love about Howard? His chest hair. <laughs> Howard has a hairy chest? <laughs> no, just the one. Okay, there you go. Sultry sunrise red. What do you think? My nails have never looked so pretty before. Get it off. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, uh, looks like they're getting ready to let people in. Listen to what Mr. Will Wheaton is tweeting. Best seats in house for Raiders screening. Suck on that Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> Why do you read his Twitter feed? You know it's only gonna upset you. Hello. Well, this seems like an odd time to test my cell phone quality, but go on. Test phrases, all right. All together, <clears throat> I'm a total buttwad. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you laughing? And that, girls, is how you make a phony phone call. <laughs> oh my god, for a second, I thought it was Will Wheaton. I'm not sure I grasp the full <laughs> entertainment value, but all right. <laughs> Next yeah, on well Wikipedia's done, list of slumber party activities, truth or dare? Okay, it's your game. You go first. Hang on, I'm familiarizing myself with the rules. Seems it's fairly straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Truth. All right. To what temperature must you heat beef in order to kill the prion that causes bovine spongiform encephalopathy? Um. Remember, you have to answer honestly. <laughs> Wait, no, Amy, you're supposed to ask her something personal or embarrassing. Oh, all right. What is the circumference of your areolas? Oh my god, Amy! <laughs> I hope his next tweet is popcorn lodged in trachea. Choking to death. <laughs> woot woot. Guys, I am sorry, we are full up. But... No! Oh my god, literally like... We <gasps> really want to see this. Is there anything close. you can do? That sorry, close. fire regulations. Should have gotten here earlier. This is nothing but a blatant abuse of power by a petty How functionary. Long Explain to me why Will Wheaton and his lackeys get in and we don't. Because I'm the petty functionary with a clipboard, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. Aww. You know what? I'm going back to I told you so. I told you so. Look! <gasps> a side you door. Can sneak Come in. on, short round. Guess we better go in. after him. Short round. And Absalon hath kissed her nether yea, and Nicholas is scalded in the torta. This tale is done, and God save all the rota. What the hell was that? <laughs> Bernadette dared me to tell a dirty story. The Miller's Tale by Chaucer is the dirtiest story I know. Especially the part where he kisses her nether yea. <laughs> you might not like it as much if you knew what nether yea meant. My turn. Kenny, truth or dare? Truth. Why are you still hanging out with Leonard so much even though you broke up with him? <gasps> oh, that's Here an for excellent it. question. Listen. For two people who claim to be no longer pair bonded, you spend an inordinate amount of time in each other's company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Penny, yeah. answer. Okay, look, just because we're not seeing each other anymore doesn't mean we can't be friends. I mean, Leonard's a great guy. Then why did you terminate your relationship with him? I don't know. He got really serious, and I wasn't ready for it. How will you react if in the future you become ready for it and Leonard is unavailable because another woman has realized that he is, to use your words, a great guy? You know what? I don't want to play anymore. Aww. Well, I'm not sure how this is scored, but I believe we may have won. <laughs> 
<laughs> you whistled? What is that? What is that? Raiders of the Lost Ark with 21 additional seconds. <laughs> If I can't see it, no one else can Stole see it. it. You're not thinking right. Put the movie back before we get into trouble. Trouble is my middle name, Leonard. Actually, it's Lee, but I prefer trouble. <laughs> oh, look who they let in. But don't worry, Will Wheaton. I was just leaving. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh my god, Shuffle is crazy. What the Come hell? Short. Da -da 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 -da. You run with a bag of urine strapped to your leg. He's got the movie! Get him! Oh my god, everybody coming after you! Oh no! She's been in there a long time. Yeah, I think you should check Clearly up on her. Clearly losing truth or dare upset her. <laughs> Perhaps we should try to take her mind off it with another popular slumber party activity. Well, the internet suggests that slumber party guests often engage in harmless experimentation with lesbianism. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Where exactly on the internet have you been looking? Honey? Oh, hey, Amy. Look, I'm sorry I got so upset. I just. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, what is she doing what there? What are you doing? Don't worry, I'll avoid the nether, yeah, yeah. I might have gone with eating raw cookie dough. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. Well, what do we have here? That was hilarious. Gosh, I can't wish Sheldon. He's such a like a <laughs> random person. You know, he always says something random and he can do something random. Like we've been in a queue and now he stole the movie <laughs> so no one can see it. Oh my God, it's so funny. And I guess his beef with Will Wheaton just gonna be for a really long time. And I'm so here for it. It's hilarious. And then what Penny uh, getting upset about Leonard of course I knew that like from from the beginning <laughs> or whatever they broke up like the last time that she never said I love you back and then they were like oh we actually can be friends blah 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 but of course someone's gonna get feelings obviously if you're like still hanging you know together like as a group or you know you're just coming to chill to watch the movie or stuff like that Amy actually asked a really good question like what you're gonna do if at some point in the future you're gonna be ready but Leonard won't be available so yeah that, that that's a good question like maybe Penny's trying to wait a bit more so we will see if she's you know gonna try and shoot her shot or maybe not who knows and then it was so funny with the Howard situation Howard and FBI his friends were absolutely crazy Raj just being drunk but well we can kind of forgive that because he can't speak to women but Leonard <laughs> he's just like hell yeah <laughs> I'm gonna pick you up at six or seven whatever he said even though they've been you know weird around this FBI agent but they didn't do I mean they didn't say anything like crazy you know they didn't spill the tea but yeah obviously Sheldon did but we know he can't keep a secret and especially when it comes to Howard he's ready to bury him <laughs> yeah but it was so nice of him you know to at least feel the guilt and say sorry even give his spot for like one minute <laughs> it's still you know a big step i think it's like sheldon growing a little bit it was it was crazy god so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends and don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and i'll see you in the next video bye guys